To an alien visitor from another galaxy, Earth would be our solar system's preeminent planet. It's not because Earth is the largest planet. Jupiter and several other planets are much larger. From a distance, Earth may not even be the most beautiful planet. Saturn is perhaps more striking because of its necklace-like rings of icy particles. But Earth would attract the focus attention of any extraterrestrial visitor because Earth has life. Here, life not just exists, it exists in a glorious variety of forms. Plants are the most immediately obvious. Forest trees cover much of Earth's surface in different shades of green, while flowers accent landscapes with many other colors. Different animals have adapted to almost all of Earth's environments. Reptiles slither across the rocky surface of a desert. Amphibians climb trees in a rainforest. Birds of different shapes and colors fly in the air. And a great diversity of fishes swim in the oceans. And then there are living things we may notice less because they're smaller, including millions of species of insects. There are also living things we can't see at all, except with the help of a microscope. A single drop of pond water may contain hundreds of tiny paramecia and other single-cell protists. Smaller still are different kinds of bacteria that exist almost everywhere on Earth. Some, such as these E. coli, inhabit our own intestines. We too are part of Earth's diversity of life, one example of the thousands of different species of mammals. Altogether, we have identified over one million different species of living things. But scientists agree that this number grossly underestimates the total number of species that now exist. The total number of species now living is estimated to be more than 10 million, and the number may be much greater. This uncertainty reflects how little we still know about life on Earth.